two figures who at least have some things in common, and that's uh, uh, Foucault and Habermas, both of whom deal with the problems of what I've called modernity, and I hope that word hasn't thrown you too bad. It's called work, it's called hooking up the telephone, it's called applying for a job, it's called dealing with the IRS, this is modernity. It, 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 so don't get lost in the fanciness of the word. If he is a philosopher uh, around today, and that's Jacques Derrida, uh, I think his name has become synonymous with a kind of evil among many analytic American uh, logic-chopping philosophers. Lecture 7, Derrida and the Ends of Man Richard Rorty may be viewed as an Americanization of Derrida. Both are widely considered popular representations of the postmodern thinkers, perhaps wrongly. Here we will use Rorty as a guide to Derrida. Derrida's emphasis is on fallibility, contingency, and finitude. These positions are partially demonized as relativism, deconstruction, and vaguely connected to radical politics, multiculturalism, and so on. Deconstruction originates in Heidegger's project of the deconstruction of metaphysics, an uncovering of the history of being. Derrida notes as he proceeds through a series of techniques of deconstruction as reading or misreading of texts, that philosophers have always tried to fill in the blank and being is blank. But they have failed due to the nature of language, which is constituted by difference, materiality of marks and phonetic signs, marginality and materiality. Words do not stand for things, they stand in for them. Meanings depend not only on presence, but also on absence. Words can always misrefer, a possibility once is a necessity forever. The upshot is that there are no final interpretations, no last books. Better and worse readings depend on context and purpose. Meaning is not fixed humanly against humanism. Philosophy has always already thought the end of man in thinking the truth of man. For Derrida, man is implicated in the white mythology that is philosophy, whose time is rapidly passing. This leaves the self, the I, as no more than a vanishing positionality in a text. And this is a long way from the kind of story that might provide us with meaning for our own lives. Finally, when reading Derrida, remember, he m may just be joking. If he is right, even in part, the same might be said for Plato. There is no final word. <laughs>